Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to turn an Android device into a live home monitor. This has always been one of the best uses for an old Android device. Simply turn it into a webcam when you don't have much use for it anymore. It's a great way to keep an eye out on your home when you're away, or to keep track of your pets or kids when you're at work. But most of the apps that let you do this are actually pretty hard to set up, because they generally involve messing with network connections and personal web servers. That's why I think an app called Perch has a lot of promise, because it's incredibly easy to set up and has an intuitive UI with lots of cool features. Right now, Perch is in its beta testing phases, but it works quite well already. And so far, every feature it offers is completely free, but I'm not sure if that'll still be the case once it's out of beta. To get this one going though, simply search and install Perch from the Google Play Store. Or if you're having trouble finding the app, you can use the link in step one at my full tutorial. Then once you've got it installed, go ahead and open the app to do a bit of initial setup. Now first up, you're gonna have to create an account. So tap the sign up button, then enter your email address and create a password on the following screen. When you've taken care of that, you can set this phone up as a home monitor slash webcam by tapping the setup camera button in the middle of the screen. From here, if your device is running Marshmallow, you'll have to grant a couple of permissions real quick. But when you're done with that, you'll see an easy camera setup screen. From here, you can give this camera a name in case you're setting up multiple cameras. So something like living room or whatnot. After that, you can pick whether or not you want this to record audio, and you can also set it to wait until you're connected to Wi-Fi and plugged into a power source. But when you're done with that, just tap finish and you'll be just about ready to go. From here, just tap the play button to start recording, and now your home monitor feed will be live. You can access this feed from another Android device or any computer, so let me switch over to my desktop to show you how that works. Now from any web browser, just head to getperch.com and sign into the account you created earlier. At this point, you'll see a live feed of your camera, and if you set up multiple cameras, you could switch between them just by clicking the thumbnail. And Perch even comes with a DVR feature. That means that if you want to see something that happened earlier, you can use the slider at the bottom of the video to flip back in time. On top of that, it offers motion detection features. If you click this plus button near the top of the screen, you can set up alerts that'll send you an email or text when something moves in front of the camera that would also show up on the DVR feed with little markers on the seat bar. So it gives you an easy way to see anything that actually happened while you were gone. And most of these same features can be accessed through another Android device. Just install the Perch app, then select your feed. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.